Hello everybody, Strategy Games Tabs here. Welcome back to another episode of Victoria 2 A to Z. The series that I might never finish where I play all the interesting nations from A to Z in the game Victoria 2. To be quite honest, I never thought I would make this video, but uh, uh, I guess I have a, a second of time and I really enjoy making these videos, so we're doing it. We're playing France, which should be a darn rootin' tootin' good time. So apparently, we start the game at war with Algeria, which is interesting because they want us to sign peace with Algeria. No, I don't think I will do that. Louis Napoleon has attempted a coup. <laughs> this, there's no way this will ever be successful, right? Right? France appears to be in a position where they could potentially maybe industrialize. We got sulfur, one singular province worth, we got coal, and we got iron, so uh, go ahead, make some factories please. Did I mention that early game France is like driving a ship into a storm without anybody at the wheel? Because freaking laissez-faire capitalism is plaguing our country. I want to be able to click this button. I hear the libertarians in the comment section right now. Me, 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 me. Yeah, uh, laissez-faire capitalism sucks in this game. We're not gonna stick with it. French colonialism train is unstoppable. We've taken Algeria. They are gone <laughs> in 19 or 1837. Bye-bye, <laughs> Algeria. So I decided that the French Empire needed the territory of Bashar in order to become a world power. However, the Moroccans refused. How dare they? I'm gonna declare war on them, I'm gonna burn their cities to the ground, and I will not care because I, they refuse to give me the most valuable province in the game, Bashar, which has 9,000 pops in the wolf. So this is the event that allows you to go to war with Mexico? Uh, no thanks. I, um, I have done that war before, actually. It's miserable. Don't try it. Aha! Morocco has surrendered and they will give me Bashar. Yup, this is gonna help me a lot. More free war goals on useless territory in Africa? Mmm, <laughs> France likes this. Wouldn't be playing a colonial nation if I didn't get to send my ships to South America and bully people for no reason. I will send my ships to you any day of the week, Argentine Confederation. Apparently, in GFM, France is one of those wonderful nations where you can change the political party for free at the beginning of the game. So we are going to become reactionary because I have a very important plan that must come to fruition. I must build a steel mill in Calais. Don't ask me questions about why I'm building a steel mill in Calais. I, I just am, okay? Okay? All right, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for the French government to put on their big boy pants and conquer Haiti. Haiti broke free from us many years ago, but today, today we will have a reckoning in which we take them out. Rats, the laissez-faire party is back. Who let the people vote in this country? Was it you, Robespierre? Ahaha, Haiti has surrendered. What a absolute dub. Everybody, go on... Amazon Music, which you have because you're weird and you're not like other people who have Spotify. Go on there and blast Little Dark Age like it's one of those stupid montages. Like, oh, uh, the Pope. <laughs> yeah, I don't care. There's a place in my heart for the Egyptians in the Oriental Crisis, so I will be supporting them. Um, doesn't look particularly good for the Egyptians, does it? Ah, uh, yes, my best friend forever, the Prussians. <laughs> what a weird alliance. I wish that I could tax the homies, but I can't tax the homies. It's the stupid lazy fair party is in charge, and then I gotta raise the tariffs. Screw you, Orleanists. Looks like the Egyptians lost. Oh, I was looking forward to see the AI form <laughs> the Egyptian thing, the Arab Union that I made last game, but unfortunately, that's not happening. The liberals just came to party on their own, and they have the interventionist policy, which means, uh, yeah, 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 where is it? <laughs> My beloved steel mill is getting an upgrade. Also, we still have slavery? Bruh, get rid of it. I have a feeling the homies might not like being taxed at this ridiculous rate, but, uh, hey, at least we don't have to pay tariffs. <laughs> 
The Prussians are looking pretty strong, so uh, it's time to reinstate the two-year draft. Sorry, kids, you're going to the military. It wouldn't be a France game without a revolution. Oh, yeah. At least we got a, a different flag, I guess. This is the new France. Four-year draft. <laughs> no college for you, kids. Looks like the Pope is doing a little trolling. He's been eliminated from his throne. I do not care. We're all gonna go down to the Papal States. Hooray, hooray, where is my transport ships? Hooray. France gets this event to go back to the New World and take land. But, um, yeah, I don't think I want Canada and I already have Haiti, so I'm not gonna even bother. I thought that Louis Napoleon already overthrew the government, but I guess uh, he's doing it again? Lots of events that have just formed the French Empire. I guess we might actually be able to do something now, because... So we've gotten the event, the French Crusade, which um, gives Byzantium cores on the Ottoman Empire. This seems like the most fun event in any map game. It seems that Italy has decided to form, which is kind of a, a good thing and a bad thing, because I get my cores on these French territories here that used to belong to Sardinia Piedmont, but now, um, I also now have to kill Italy. I feel like this is one of those instances when you know you've gone too far dunking on the AI, because these poor, poor Ottomans just got absolutely dunked on. I'm gonna buy Luxembourg. Oh, and Prussia's being cringe. I'll annex them anyway. I don't care. I'm going to war with Prussia. Annex New Caledonia, Treaty of Lyon, which, um, my eyes. And finally, I guess I'm going to beat up on Prussia. What even happened here? We have Iraq. We have Jeru Jerusalem. We have um, Armenia. And we have Byzantium. And some of these states are my satellites, which is very cool. <laughs> Sorry, Ottomans. <laughs> You'd think that Prussia would learn how to research military tech, but no, they got barely beaten and they will accept a humiliate Prussia war goal. So <laughs> screw you, Prussia. Mm, yes, my favorite part of Africa, Ottoman Libya, which is owned by France. Love you, Victoria 2. You are a game with no flaws. An update on France's industrialization shows us somebody's building a large steel mill, dude. Um, maybe France's greatest accomplishment isn't their interesting foreign policy decisions, but actually, it's this beautiful steel mill that is currently in Calais. But seriously, I gotta stop upgrading this steel mill. It's not gonna be profitable for much longer. Oh man, the German Empire is formed and we have received the Ems Dispatch. Um, well, I don't, I don't know. Can I beat the Germans? Yeah, meh, meh, meh. Fine, we'll go to war with the Germans. Why not? Hopefully the Italians do not join. That could potentially ruin my day. I'm not sure what happened. I think the game bugged, but uh, we're not at war anymore. Confusion? It is a dark day for France. The world's largest steel mill was briefly not making a profit. Come on, world's largest steel mill, stay with us. Well, Germany did the thing where they declare war on me. So now I'm at war with uh, Spain, Italy, and Germany. <sighs> Pain. Now it looks like we're gonna take the L here. Um, I'm getting dunked on from three sides, so. <laughs> I'll give him Elsass. I'm not gonna lie, that's a joke and a half. We really gotta come up with a better way to do this because uh, <laughs> they took Elsass. Oh yeah, uh, Napoleon is gone. So um, mm, yeah, let's become another empire. The Kingdom of France this time. 
Hopefully this will better suit us and help us defeat both the Italians and the Germans. I'm just, uh, you know, really disappointed in uh, the current state of this game because I can't go to war with Spain because Germany's defending them. I can't go to war with Germany because Italy is defending them and I can't go to war with Italy because Germany is defending them. So it's like they've all formed an evil entente around me to make sure that I don't actually get to play this game. All right, it is 1880 and the Colonial Conference has happened. So now we just get to go crazy and click a bunch of buttons and expand our colonies. In addition to this, Italy is, and Germany have made like Kim and Kanye and have decided to split up, which means I can now declare war on Italy in order to get all of my cores back from them, and uh, this should go pretty well because they don't have their big German friend to, you know, keep track of them and make sure that they don't get rolled. All right, we totally bonked the Italians here. They have given up all of their uh, provinces that I have cores on. That was painful, but uh, I guess we got more pops. Germany, you gotta like, please give me my land back. I feel like my borders would look a lot better if uh, the United Kingdom hadn't sniped the Suez. Disappointing, United Kingdom. You always gotta mess me up somehow. Mm, yes, let us build the Eiffel Tower. Uh, we gotta do something to make us look better than the Germans. And also, I guess we're gonna buy stuff from Sweden. Why not? At this point, I feel that the game is just feeling sorry for me because I lost Alsace-Lorraine and they're giving me 9,000 free research points. Yes, please, thank you. So we're gonna sign the Treaty of Hanoi now, which should uh, allow me to get uh, a sizable piece of Vietnam. Um, I like this a lot, actually. Hopefully from here, we'll be able to put Siam in my spear if the Americans stop bullying me. And then from there, we can uh, create a decent colony in this region. Italy has declared war on me with the Germans, which uh, <laughs> my troops are not in position to do anything. Uh, you know, I wouldn't really call this dunking on the Germans. Actually, I'd call this losing to the Germans, but the Germans seem to think that I'm crushing them. So we're getting Alsace-Lorraine back. I love you, Germany. You're so cool. Thank you for my cores back. <laughs> oh, I'm the luckiest man on the planet. Now that we have Alsace-Lorraine back, I don't really think we have to be such a uh, dictatorship, kingdom country. Nah, we're, we're, I've given people the right to vote, the landed voting. Hopefully we get rid of our crazy party. And yeah, democracy will return to France. In fact, it changed our name to Kingdom of France and our new flag. I like this flag better, to be completely honest. The other flag, very much a EU4. Maybe it was the wrong decision to, to let the liberals come to power because I can't continue upgrading the world's largest steel mill. Sadness overwhelms me. Another day, another stupid Italian invasion that I have to fend off with the German support. I literally am so upset and disappointed in this game right now. This is so annoying. <sighs> another instance of this war, another occurrence where uh, the Germans get scared after winning but also losing a couple battles and the war's over. Great. <laughs> Italy, ooh, that's some bad prestige. It's happening again. The Germans and the Italians are invading. You gotta be joking. This time, the Germans know that they messed up because they are going to give me the Rhineland. <laughs> That's disgusting. Screw you, Germany. Screw you, Italy. Screw you, Spain. I'm so done with this. I can't do anything because they just declare war on me every freaking second. Ugh, yeah, we want more land. Shut up, I beat you every time. Go home, demobilize. Britain has retaken the number one military score in the world. That scares me because that means <laughs> they have big navy. Doesn't matter, I'm gonna build the Channel Tunnel, which um, spends a bunch of money, but it should allow me to invade Britain pretty easily. 
I'm also going to build the Panama Canal because at this point I'm becoming Mr. Worldwide and um, yeah, I really, really, really like my South American holdings. They're kind of minimalist, but uh, definitely going to be very profitable here. Guess what? The Germans declared war on me again and the Italians. <laughs> I love this game. This game is fun. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I really think this part of the game is my favorite part to play combat in because it's pretty easy to kind of encircle your enemy uh, and get a bunch of them stuck behind your line. I think that's cool. Like I, I got stuck over here in Italy, but now they invaded France and now I'm encircling them from the back. And I just feel like it, it's more, you know, more special than the early combat modes and just uh, death stack. Yeah. I, I enjoy this portion of the game. You know, the First Great War has really not disappointed. We are currently sieging down Germany. We are sieging down Italy. And yeah, big win for, uh, I guess, the Allies, because we have the UK and the United States on our team. And France. A big Allied dub. Okay, so it looks like the war has ended. The Germans have given me a peace deal, which I will gladly take. I'm going to keep everything I've gained. So what I got here was a fair chunk of the German territory. Um, Piedmont from the Italians. Naples was released. That was a, a U.S. war goal. U.S. is doing a little bit of trolling. The world has wasted no time in starting another great war. This time the second great war where the Italians and the Russians are beating up Austria-Hungary and the British have arrived to beat up the Italians. <laughs> uh, this seems like a horrible time. We have completed the channel, which means uh, the British troops are gonna walk through my country to go beat up the Italians who they are at war with. Uh, this should be interesting. It does give me a way to invade the British, but at the same time, uh, it gives the British a way to invade me. Very interesting development. Another great French victory. We beat the Spanish, we beat the Germans with the help of a, a big boy Russia over here, and we beat the Italians. So with that, we will keep everything we've gained, and yeah, we forced Germany to dismantle their empire. We took Catalonia, which we now have cores on, and yeah, we are moving in the direction towards uh, becoming really strong. Right now, we're just uh, mostly strong. I'm disappointed. Something I did forced the Rhineland to become an independent state, or I guess a satellite. So now I have to waste eight infamy in order to uh, get it back, which sucks. Why did it do this? I always think it's disappointing when you dismantle Germany, because I, I feel like it should split into more pieces. Like I feel the Sudetenland should not stay with them should go back to somebody. I think Bavaria should be independent. But like, eh, it's, it's just disappointing. You do a lot to dismantle them and then nothing happens. Also, Byzantium has broken free from me by becoming great power. I've created a monster. I like how the Russians are now invading Britain because of the channel. It's so funny. What a weird alt history. Looks like the Austrians, uh, <laughs> yeah, they got what was coming to them. They lasted so long, it's honestly quite surprising. But now we've got <sighs> a mess. Well, I think I'm gonna end today's video a little bit early. Um, I don't know, there's just not much else I'll be able to accomplish here. Uh, we did pretty good. We're number one great power, of course, uh, US, Typical industrial score being way too high. Um, we did some colonizing. Uh, I was kind of not having the right tax when I needed them for some of this stuff. I'm looking at the Suez specifically. But yeah, uh, really fun time. France is a lot of fun. Good nation. Uh, and yeah, thank you all for watching. Um, I honestly didn't think I'd ever make this video, but I got sick and I wasn't able to go anywhere. So I had some time to make this video. And yeah, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it, and I'll see you all next time if I make another video. Bye.